There's a lot of famous people here. Please be careful. I am just a girl trying to do my thing. Out on the red carpet with Hilton Dresden. Hello there. I'm Hilton Dresden here with Out Magazine at the New York City premiere of Loving, which tells the story of Richard and Mildred Loving, an interracial couple in the 60s who got married against all odds. I hope the microphone works. You look beautiful. I'm sweating. Are you I, warm? I'm really worried about people shaking people's hands because yeah. the sheen of so wet. moisture is so <laughs> disgusting. Oh, wow. You're even wetter than I am on the hands. This fur was $10. Was it really? Yeah. Fashion on a budget. Yeah. I I, you've got to use your budget. Thank you so dance much. on the carpet. Hey. And you dance on the carpet. So Ireland just passed gay marriage and that's where you're from yes. and I just spit on you and I'm that's so okay. sorry <laughs> um, so with this movie it's about marriage equality yeah. so that's it's that's huge so it comes oh, out huge. at a great time no perfectly I mean like it's on it's so it's so serendipitous it's so right and perfect and good and I'm so proud to be a part of it because obviously it's resonating around the world with people you know sure. Well, on our, on our loving Twitter and any of these people are saying, you know, thank you for telling the story for many various reasons. Um, because I just am quite shocked that we still live in a world that can legislate on who you love. We're on the red carpets. <laughs> yeah, we are on a budget over here. You probably are rolling in the cash with this big movie. Oh, um, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, he isn't. And that's on the record. This movie comes out when Trump is running for election and if he wins it's rumored he wants to take away gay marriage thoughts on what drew you to this movie and how it's relevant today with this whole marriage thing well look you know I think equality is a concept that every generation has to define for itself we make progress but we can also we can also lose that progress and we have to protect it we can't take it for granted and right now I think we're in a generation that is is in desperate need of a new definition of equality. In 10, 20, 30 years, people are going to look back on us right now, on this generation, and say, how did we do? See you. Love me and you. La la, mama, lu tapa. I need to shop where you're shopping. In bed -Stuy. Where is that? In Brooklyn. I don't know. Do you go oh. to Brooklyn often? No, I've never been to Brooklyn, actually. Come to bed -Stuy. Who are you wearing? Uh, I'm wearing Ted Baker and Barney's. I'm, I'm wearing a mixture of a bunch of different sure. things. Sounds yeah. like you're a real fashionista. <laughs> it's getting really sweaty. And my armpits? L.com!